For this video, we're going to be discussing the volume and surface area of cones. So you should know what a cone looks like, like an ice cream cone, all right? And it is a solid that is made of one circular base and, I'm sorry, that should say one circular base, or sorry, that should say one circular base, and a single slanted face, all right? This wrapped outside is like one singular slanted face. You could also think of this as being like a pyramid with a circle for the base instead of some other shape, all right? And the formulas for this are a little different, okay? The formula for the volume of a cylinder is one-third, I'm sorry, the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. The reason that I mention a cylinder is that in a cylinder volume was pi r squared h. What did I add? I just added this one-third. Okay, and the reason I added that one-third is that the cone has a third of the volume of a cylinder that has the same base. So it's just one-third times pi times the radius squared times h. The surface area is equal to pi times the radius squared, that's the area of the circle, plus pi times the radius times l, and similar to our video of, on pyramids, l is the slant height. So it's the height of this slanted side. All right, so let's go ahead and apply these formulas. So we need to find the volume and surface area of the cone that we're given here. All right, before we even start, let's take a look here. 50, that's our slant height. 48, that's our height. And 28 is the distance from this side to this side. That's the diameter. So my radius is 14 because the diameter is twice the radius. All right, so let's start by finding the volume. Volume is equal to 1 third pi r squared times h. r is 14, h is 48, so I'm gonna plug those in. Now I'm gonna do 14 squared, which is 196, and now I'm gonna multiply 1 third times 196 times 48, which gives me 3,136 pi meters cubed. I'm not going to turn this into a decimal. I'm just going to leave it here. Okay, I just multiplied 1 third times 196 times 48. I just leave the pi on the outside there because this is the most exact way of answering the problem. So the volume of this cone is 3,136 pi meters cubed. All right, so now let's do the surface area of this cone. Surface area is pi times r squared plus pi times r times l, which is the slant height. R is the same, it's 14, and my slant height is 50. So now 14 squared is 196. 14 times 50 is 700. So I get 196 pi plus 700 pi. Now when I'm adding these things together, I can just treat pi like a variable and combine these like they're like terms. 196 plus 700 is 896. So it's 896 pi meters squared. And that's all there is to it. Okay, all I did was plug my numbers into the formula and get my answers. So now that you've seen how to do this, your try it problems for tonight are to find the volume and surface area of this shape, where five, to help you out, five is the radius, 12 is the height, and 13 is the slant height. So now you need to find the volume and surface area of this cone.